What's going on everybody? It's the Home Theater Hobbies here and a lot of you know me as the guy that really likes physical media. I have a small subset of my collection here and it includes basically all the major formats of the past 25 or 30 years including DVD, Blu-ray, 4K UHD disc, and VHS tapes. Um, yeah, I still have cassette tapes and a VCR that will play them. I don't watch them much but I do have them and honestly I plan to continue buying 4k USD disc for as long as they sell them I guess but that doesn't mean that I'm not interested in streaming media I actually am and I'm excited about a new streaming service it's called Disney Plus and I want to talk about that in this video four reasons why I'm excited for Disney Plus Disney Plus is a new streaming service from Disney. It will be similar to Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime Video, and HBO Now, and many other streaming services. It will debut here in the US, Canada, and the Netherlands on November 12, 2019. Expect a worldwide rollout to other major regions over the next several years. But before we get too far into this video, I want you guys to watch this entire video, like it, share it, then jump into the comment section and add your comments because I really want to get a discussion going on how you guys feel about Disney Plus and these other streaming services. Do you like them? Don't you like them? Do you agree with these points or you know, do you disagree? But I'd like to get a great discussion going and that's why I want you to like it and share so other people can join in. Now let's talk about what I'm excited about. I'm going to break this into four different categories and I'm going to start with number four and work my way down to number one. The number four reason why I'm excited for Disney Plus is technology. Disney has promised us four simultaneous streams with unlimited downloads on up to 10 devices. So this means that we will be able to watch all of our favorite content on up to four devices. And they've also promised a wide range of device support, including Android, iOS, Apple TV, Microsoft Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. So you should be able to get it on all of your devices. Now they didn't mention any Fire TV support at this time, but I suspect it'll probably come at some point in the future. Now what really makes me excited about this support and this stream is the fact that they will be streaming it in 4K HDR with HDR10 or Dolby Vision where applicable. So that means that you'll be able to get it in the highest quality format available today, mainstream. I know 8K is around, but it's not really mainstream yet, so it's nice to be able to get this in 4K content. But to put the icing on the cake, they will also be giving us a Dolby Atmos audio soundtrack where available, and of course you have to have the hardware to decode it. Now for those of you who aren't aware, Dolby Atmos is a three-dimensional audio format. So you have your surround, you have your front sound stage, your side surrounds, and your rears, but you also have overhead channels. So you'll be able to hear things like rain and stuff like that as if it's falling on top of you from your overhead channels. So obviously you have to have the hardware to support that, but they will offer it. So I'm really looking forward to that. Now some of you may say, well, you know, the Atmos soundtracks on a lot of the latest D, uh, 4K USD disc from Disney have been a bit underwhelming. And honestly, I tend to agree. They could have used a little bit more dynamic range in a certain, uh, in, on some disc but I'd rather have Dolby Atmos than not have it. And so for these reasons, that's why I'm really, really excited for Disney Plus. The third reason why I'm excited for Disney Plus is the price. Disney is going to offer us all of this technological goodness, 4K HDR, four simultaneous streams, unlimited downloads, all of this device support for a mere $7 a month or $70 a year. I mean, that is unheard of. For comparison, Netflix offers their USD content and four simultaneous streams for $16 a month. So Disney will be doing that for less than half of what Netflix charges. And I mean, I don't know what to say. That's just exciting. Also, there was a D23 deal of maybe about a month ago where they were people were able to get it for basically like four bucks a month. So that's even better. I mean, Disney is really, really coming out the gate swinging on all of the competition and I like it. 
The second reason why I'm excited for Disney Plus is their content. I mean, they have a huge back catalog. If you've been a kid anywhere in the past 90 years, you've probably been affected by Disney's content. We're talking Dumbo, uh, Snow White, Aladdin, The Lion King. I think Zootopia is one of their uh, particular movies that they've done more recently. And so they've done a bunch of content. They have a huge, huge back catalog, but they also own other movie studios, including Pixar, so if you like Cars or Zootopia, WALL-E, um, and stuff like that, Toy Story, they own that. They also have Star Wars, that's right, Star Wars is a part of Disney now, so you'll be able to watch a lot of your favorite Star Wars content. And they have Marvel content, so if you're into the latest superhero movies, Iron Man, The Avengers, that sort of thing, it's also there. And they own Nat Geo, so you'll be able to get your favorite nature stuff from Nat Geo, which is cool. They also have a deal with Fox, so they have 30 episodes, or excuse me, 30 seasons of The Simpsons that will be available. Now, all of this content won't be available on day one, but over time it will be released as deals wind down in different regions and things like that. So that is really cool. But the other part of this content story is they will come out with new originals, and I'm really excited about it. On their website, they have a few trailers for a few of their upcoming shows, including um, some sort of Christmas story called Noel, uh, The World According to Jeff Goldblum, and one that I'm excited about called The Mandalorian. Now, the thing about these trailers is they show the production quality, and the production values are very, very high for these shows. I mean, they look theatrical, which I like, but what I'm more interested in is the storytelling. Disney has done a great job over the history of telling great stories. And that is what's more important than pretty much anything because the story that draws you in and keeps you coming back. And they have a great track record. So I think their original content will also be the same and tell these compelling stories that we want to tune into week after week, month after month, year after year. And so that is why I am truly, actually really excited about this content. I like the back catalog, but the storytelling ability of the new content is what I'm really, really excited for. And the number one reason why I'm excited about this service is because this is a game-changing service in my humble opinion. I mean, nobody is really doing what Disney does. The first thing is the subscription is only $7 a month. The second thing is it is high quality at $7 a month. 4K HDR, Dolby Atmos support, unlimited downloads, four simultaneous streams. I mean, nobody's really doing that. And then you have all of these devices that it supports. And then on top of that, you have the fact that they have this very, very nice back catalog of content that will be on the service and they'll be making originals with their great storytelling ability. I mean, nobody's really doing that. Who can match that? I don't know. So I'm really, really excited to see how this puts pressure on everybody else inside this streaming market. And so I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. And to be honest with you, there are some downsides, like some of these smaller players probably won't be able to enter the market at such low prices and high quality. So that is a downside. But from an overall standpoint, it's very, very consumer friendly. And that is why I'm really, really excited to see just how this unfolds over the next several years. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to leave a comment in the comment section below, like this video, share it so we can get more comments and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. We'll talk to you next time.